Hey guys, I'm Alicia and this is Teague Household where I share with you tips and tricks and in today's episode, or video I want to share with some tips and tricks on teaching social skills while social distancing. Hey guys, so today I want to chat a little bit about teaching social skills while social distancing. Um, I'm seeing this kind of pop up a little bit um, in my own circle of just friends and moms that I know, as well as um, just parenting groups in general. They're kind of like, well, I don't really know. Things look really different now. Um, so I kind of want to share a couple of different things you can do with your own children at home. Um, to help make teaching those skills a little bit easier. I am speaking to a much younger audience. I'm speaking to probably a zero to three type audience, maybe zero to four audience, depending on your kid, because that's where most of my knowledge tends to be right now. So the first thing that I wanna talk about, ways that we can help, is play with our children with a little bit more intention. So a lot of us can say, oh, well, I play with I play with my kids, we play farm, we play dolls, you know, whatever, 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 we play kitchen. Um, so that's great. Um, if you're trying to teach social skills, you're trying to teach how to share or how to use your words or, you know, taking turns and whatever lingo you want to be using. Um, when you play with your child, be a little more um, assertive to things. Kind of try to put yourself in a uh, toddler type of mindset. Um, so in reality, do you really care if you have the horse or the sheep? Probably not. But for your child who's trying to learn how to take turns or use words and communicate, maybe be like, well, I want to be the sheep or I'll be the sheep and then you be the sheep or teaching them that way. Um, really just kind of immerse yourself a little bit more intentionally than maybe is normal or even natural. Um, this can help them kind of start learning that on their own or learning that with you as opposed to trying to learn that with maybe daycare or play groups or other social settings that maybe look a little different right now. So that right there at home is something that's so huge and super important to do with them. One of the trends that I'm starting to notice is that kids are starting to get a little more anxious. Um, they might not be able to necessarily say or articulate why they feel anxious, but they are feeling they're feeling a lot of pent up energy. They're feeling a lot of nerves because they don't understand. Even though they might understand to some degree about maybe they have to wear a mask now, maybe they you know, can't play with their friends the same way or go to certain places or things like that. So the other thing that is super helpful to do with them, for us with Sophie, but as well as talking with um, my other friends, helping or talking with other moms, is really trying to help your child remember they can still say hello and they can still wave. Um, we've kind of turned social distancing or six feet apart kind of into a game of some type um, with Sophie. So we talk about how we have invisible bubbles and everyone else has invisible bubbles and we can't have our bubbles touch. And it's um, she really gets into that whole like imaginative play thing. Um, and so that's been something that is really helpful to her. It kind of makes it a little less scary and more um, um, you know, she's she's less inclined to be uncomfortable and it's been really positive for her for her to remember, oh, I can still wave, I can still say hello, I can still be kind and friendly. I just can't walk into your bubble and you can't walk into my bubble right now. So those are really the two biggest things that I'm kind of talking about right now. Um, just because I feel like Anything beyond that right now is just so overwhelming um, for everybody. So again, that is playing with your own children with a little bit more of an intention behind it, being maybe a little bit more um, involved with 
wanting to be a certain character or have a certain toy and things like that to really encourage them communication with you as far as how to share, how to communicate, to take turns, to work together and things like that um, instead of just going into the parent role of saying like, oh yeah, sure, you can be the horse or yeah, you can have the spatula, I don't really care. Um, being more intentional, like, well, actually I do want that spatula, but let's take turns. Let's, you have it for a minute and then I'll have it for a minute or whatever timer system or whatever you want to use for sharing. It's a whole different topic. Um, but then the second thing is to remind your children that even though they have to stay in a bubble, there has to be some level of distance. Um, you can still wave you can still smile and say hello to people and um, make social distancing kind of a game of some kind, you know. Um, and like I said, Sophie really loves the whole bubble concept. Um, one of my friends uses um, some type of special power thing, um, like a, they have an invisible wall. Um, but anything that works for your child to kind of help them make social distancing a little bit easier. So that's what I have for you guys right now. Um, like I said, this is what's working for us right now. It's working for my friends, working for some of the other moms that I've been talking to and helping with. I hope it's helpful for you. Um, in the comments, let me know something that you've been able to do to help your child with some social skills during social distancing. Um, let me know just what has been helpful or what you would like to see more of in regards to any of that or really any topic. Um, also, if you can subscribe to us as well, that's super, super helpful for us. Yeah, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.